Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back. Today is a big day for everybody who's doing Shopify e-commerce or job shipping because OpenAI or the company behind ChatGPT just recently released their official AA agent option for ChatGPT, okay? So if you're asking me what's the difference between ChatGPT and uh, this AI agent, okay, let me give you a crash course on the difference between ChatGPT or LLMs and AA agents, right? So they're similar, but not exactly. So the way ChatGPT works without a agent option is, for example, here you're gonna ask an app, uh, you're gonna ask a question, what are current trends in e-commerce? So that's a prompt, and that prompt will be processed by LLM or ChatGPT, and it's gonna respond to you in a natural human language, right? So that's what the LLMs do. They sort of process natural human language and respond in the same style. So the way a agent works, for example, here, let me give you a more visual example. So here we're gonna have a a agent okay so a agent here um and a agent will have a the brain or open ai or chat gpt for example in this case right so here it's a agent and this is chat gpt okay so a agent on its own it's it's its own thing okay and here is the actual thing that's connected to chat gpt right so and the the AI agents they have access to array of different tools so here for example I can add something like a um, server, okay? And this server will be connected to a web scraping or for example, to Google or whatever. So it's gonna be connected to a general web scraping tool. So this means now that now a agent has access to a model and it's controlling a model and it has uh, tools like web scraping, okay? But not just this is not just the only tool. So here, the agent has a web scraper, okay? And then let's say we have a I don't know, Google Calendar tool, okay? So here we're gonna have Google Calendar and now an agent can uh, web scrape the data and then maybe create uh, Google Calendar events in your Google Calendar, okay? Uh, if you have a meeting, for example, right? So it can do research for your meeting that's gonna be upcoming on say next Thursday, whatever, with your client. And then it's gonna summarize everything for you and send you an invite to a Google Calendar. And then for example, you know what? I want to as well, a agent to send me an email with a summary with everything to prep for my meeting. So now a agent has a access to a Gmail. Okay, so I think you're getting the concept. So a agent essentially is different in a way that it has access to different tools and it can reason and sort of uh, figure out which is the best tool to use to help you out with your request. Okay, so it sort of can manage its own reasoning uh, based on the situation, right? So that's essentially what the open AI's a agent does in a sense, right? So now, if you click on the plus sign here, you can choose a, I believe I need to start a new uh, chat here, all right? So I'll need to start a new chat. And when I click on the plus sign here, you're gonna have a AI agent or agent mode, right? So uh, it's also limited. So, although I, I'm on the pro plan, I'm only get like 39 uh, a month, I think. Which is normal, I guess it's like a um, still version one uh, and they try to limit it, but it's fine. So you're gonna do a plus sign a agent mode, and now it's gonna have access to these tools, like something I just showed you in the example before, right? So you can essentially connect it to your um, Dropbox, to the Canva, to GitHub if you are working with the code. For example, if you're a developer or doing stuff for Shopify, uh, you can connect it to your GitHub, and it's gonna have access to the GitHub, right? So it kind of has reference or context about that, and you can connect a bunch more. Okay, Google Drive, uh, you can drop a bunch of, for example, researches you did on the winning products, whatever. Um, connect to Gmail, and there's a bunch of other tools. Um, and what's cool about it, that it can reason, it can put all that together and give you really, really good results based on your prompt. So today we're gonna be focusing on e-commerce slash job shipping, and we're gonna test drive a couple of prompts and kind of see how that performs and how that stacks up against a standard chat GPT, right? So I have a couple of prompts prepped here and I'll also share a, um, at the end of the video, or well, I mean, I'm sharing a link uh, that's gonna be available below the video in the description box. And that link will contain a uh, doc and doc, that doc will have a bunch of prompts that I will be using today. So you can go ahead and test drive a agent uh, in chat GPT yourself, right? So it's all free, so just go check out the link. Um, so what I want, if I'm doing job shipping, obviously the first thing I need, I need products, right? So let's search for five winning products and let's outsource that to a agent, right? So I have this prompt right here. Uh, let me just bring it in here 
And essentially, we're asking to fi find five untapped JavaScript products under $40, okay? Uh, in the niche, I'm gonna say uh, pets in a pet category, okay? Don't forget to replace the uh, the bracket where it says niche with whatever niche you're gonna use. Um, so pet category, and then we're asking to use data from TikTok, hashtags, whatever, Amazon review gaps, and Google Trends, okay? Um, now let's put it to the test and let's send to agent and let's see how that performs. Super curious, okay? So it's thinking, it's gonna do reasoning. Uh, so now it's gonna set up a virtual machine. So it's actually gonna be creating a virtual uh, computer, whatever you call it, or machine, and it's gonna do all of its research on its own machine, which is pretty mind blowing. Cool. Uh, so now it understood the request. And just look at that, it's actually, well, that's, I guess that's like its own screen on the machine and it's doing the research. And we can see it all visually. It's pretty, pretty awesome, right? So it kind of reminds me of uh, uh, Perplexity. If you guys ever use Perplexity, uh, it's also a LLM model with AI agent options. So it's kind of a similar, but uh, ChatGPT made a cooler UI, I would say. It's more visual. So it's actually uh, searching web and you can see it in live. Um, it's pretty awesome. It's, it's, it's really mind blowing. Cool. Um, let's see. So guys, um, it's probably going to take a bit of time. So I'll put you on a brief pause and I'll get back to you as soon as the whole research is done and we're going to skim through it, right? And what's really cool, uh, while it's doing its thing, I noticed it's actually going to TikTok links. If I click on a TikTok link, it's actually, it's actually discovering, like it's finding actually a job shipping product in uh, pet niche. You guys, look at that. It was literally right here. I opened the link and that's the one. And it's literally finding uh, products uh, on TikTok. It's pretty insane. Like this is absolutely game changing in, in my opinion. Okay, so it took roughly, I would probably say 20 minutes. So a good 20 minutes. So if we um, kind of look at all those extensive, like, I mean, the amount of research it done, it's crazy, honestly. Just, uh, I mean, look at that. Like it actually browsed a bunch of websites, Reddit, TikTok, um, Amazon, like literally anything. And everything okay and at the end it used uh, something called python and python is, is it's a basically program language mostly used uh within ai niche okay and what it does with python basically it analyzes all the data it found uh to kind of give you the output that you like a readable output okay so it does the uh it, it does the analysis of the data so think of it as a sort of like uh data analyst phase okay so you have a research and data analysis. It's absolutely mind blowing. And once it does everything, it puts everything into a really nice table. Just look at that, guys. So if, if you're a beginner, this is so good because everything is literally laid out in front of you. It's, it's insane. So we have uh, five top uh, job shipping products in pet niche that are supposedly untapped based on the latest data and research available. So we have here, let's see. Uh, Lick mat with a suction cups and travel lid. Okay, and it gives you a target audience, uh, engagement signals, uh, supplier links. I don't think it plugged in the link, but anyways, you could probably find this one by just searching the keyword. Uh, so if I do this, for example, okay, and let me just go to AliExpress. Okay, if I go to AliExpress, and if I plug this in here, uh, oops, I copy pasted the entire thing. Uh, I just want this part right here. I have to be like really careful. Okay, so I'll bring this here and here like this. And yeah, there it is. So this is the one, look at that, uh, 3000 sold. I've seen this on TikTok as well. So it's really good, it's really on point. Um, so yeah, that's definitely valid data. We have target audience, uh, top marketing angles. Okay, uh, example UGC hooks and why now, okay? So you have everything you need to kickstart the job shipping store based on these products. You have five options and again, this is really an example um, of how it works and it gives you a sort of a recommendation and summary. Again, um, the only downside I would say is like waiting 15, 20 minutes for the whole thing to be ready. Uh, but I believe this is because it's a fairly new feature. So there is a bit of a timing, you know, uh, I don't want to say issues. It's just, it's a new feature, but I'm sure with the time it's going to get faster and faster, right? So the other thing I wanted to A-B test uh, is essentially the um, if it can generate some assets or images for us, okay? So I have this another hook, another hook, I have to set up the prompt here that will essentially um, generate 
supposedly it's supposed to generate images okay so i know chat does it um let me actually you know what i'm gonna do it from scratch i don't want to kind of uh, pollute the data so i'm gonna go here i'll choose the uh, agent mode uh let's see for um let me see let me go back again here and i'm gonna find the same product actually i'm gonna do pet bull no spill something like this I, I think i remember this one too so this was this one also was pretty big on um on aliexpress and TikTok. so what i want to do anti-splash water ball okay so let's do uh, anti-splash water ball okay h with hook okay that's good and product left style shots okay and we're asking to here i need to fix this okay so generate um it will generate three visual previews alongside each script okay so actually i'll do one so we don't overwhelm the ai and what i want i'm gonna open up the um, image but actually i'll do it here no spill water ball okay uh is this one right here i just won the image really um i'll bring it here to chat gpt's a agent as a reference um product reference attached okay let's shoot and let's see what it comes up with okay and how it kind of stacks up against more well this is less in-depth research i guess because we're giving kind of a, the product and everything and we're asking less um let's see if it does it faster or how it actually does something more creative in, in this way right so i'm super curious so let's see so it's plugged in the image into its uh, machine, okay? Um, it's generating, let's see. Okay, look, it's using Imogen. Uh, Imogen, that's a different AI model for images. Super, super cool. So it does the entire thing. Okay, it had an issue. It's, it's trying to fix on its own. <laughs> and that's pretty cool. It's, it's uh, when it's encountering bugs, it's literally trying to figure out how to fix it on its own. Uh, pretty crazy stuff. So look at that. It's actually downloading the uh, image on on its virtual machine using Chrome. This is this is really crazy to kind of see that real time. Um, and as it does everything, it sort of leaves its comments and feedback, right? So it's again, reasoning. It's a really high level reasoning. In my opinion, it explains everything as it goes and it's pretty, pretty cool to see. So it looks like the agent actually can generate uh, images, okay? Um, something like ChatGPT can do. Um, it basically tried to use different tools, okay? So what it, what it did, uh, it attempted to use different online, uh, free online tools to edit the photos. Well, kind of an idea is really cool. So the intention was there and it kind of did the right thing, uh, but it wasn't really success, wasn't able to successfully actually uh, most likely log in or create, a, create an account um, or use these tools online. Okay, so it kind of filled it out and it's essentially saying like, um, here it is, where did it go? Yeah, basically it said like uh, it couldn't create an image and it says like I can't really generate the image myself. So now it's just going to go ahead and process all data and give us a reference and explanation how the image should be looking like. Okay, so um, that kind of what gives me a sort of um, sort of a thought that a agent is really good for deep research. It's like it's really good because it actually goes and does reach research real time and browses the web pages, Amazon, TikTok, like we would do. So that really saves us time. Right, so we we don't need to go to different uh, store uh, websites and look at the products and the research, so it can do everything for you. That so it really shines in that aspect. But actually, you know, do creative stuff uh, in a sense, creating images. I don't think it's still there. Um, I think probably that's going to be implemented at some point. Uh, but for now, it's really it's a really good a research buddy for you. Okay, so if you want to build a shop right store from scratch, you need a sort of a mentor. Then this is definitely going to be the answer for your question right um but uh, yeah it's looks like it's, it, it is struggling with more creative stuff so i see there's a bunch of errors it's encountering um so let's wait for it to give us a final result and see what is the final output um actually at the end of the day it is it was able to figure out how to create images obviously they don't look really you know it's not crazy but it was able to figure out how to generate images and it sort of uh, created a 9 by 16 or portrait uh, format images, uh, it added a headline and the image itself, right? So it could be that, you know, uh, we didn't ask for a detailed image, we're just asking for a sort of a uh, mock-up, okay, or it's like a preview essentially. So we're not really describing the details, the colors, the fonts. Uh, I assume if we would have done that, it would have done that. But even that, so it, it tried different tools, it failed, it, say, it said it couldn't, but then it figured out a way to do it. Like, come on, it's 
it, it keeps surprising me, which is pretty cool. So uh, these are essentially, I think it's giving me like a, a thumbnail previews for each one, which is pretty awesome. Um, so everything is almost good to go. I think it's pull, pulling, uh, putting together the last research data and we should have the final output uh, probably in the next five minutes or so. Cool, so now it's done. Again, it took a little bit faster than the initial research, it took about 10 minutes, I would say. So now we have a uh, fun, fast-paced uh, and trend-friendly trend, and trend -friendly, uh, version. So our hook, every, every, um, ever feel like your dog drinks out of a fire hose? <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. And then gives a uh, body or essentially the UGC tone, um, how to position the the shot and the content. You have the CTA. Um, you have the visual breakdown, which is pretty cool. Uh, messy water on the floor, because again, when you're shooting uh, for a TikTok, it's kind of important to plan it out a little bit uh, for direction. So it gives you direction, image concepts. Uh, it gives you a visual preview, obviously. So as I mentioned, we didn't ask for too many details, So, but still, it's pretty good. It's right here, right? So if I open it, I think I should be able to open it as an image. Yeah, I can. So cool, it's downloadable. So kind of a boilerplate for the image, I would say. Uh, same thing for Meta, okay? Um, we have visual action. Uh, we have the notes. Essentially, what does the scene do? Mm, image concepts and yeah, pretty cool. Uh, guys, this is really good. Cool. So if, if you're playing around with source, uh, with the prompt and really ask to generate a better quality image, it's, it's going to do. So you can essentially have a full 360 studio for content generation. You just need to actually shoot it after. Or use the AI, honestly, to do it. Um, but yeah, so guys, this is the AI agent uh, in uh, OpenAI or ChatGPT with the AI agent option. And in my opinion, it's really good for beginners. And it's going to help you to really kickstart the shop by job shipping store really, really fast because it avoids all the manual research and stuff like that. So it really pulls the sources from web websites and gives you mockups. And yeah, really awesome stuff, guys. And don't forget, um, as I mentioned, there 